In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of Drini's best passing concepts from the Gun Bunch in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos that can help you on both the offensive, the defensive side, as well as in live uh, weekend league gameplay. Now, uh, we're talking specifically today about Drini, and Drini is one of the best Madden players in the entire community, might be just the best Madden player uh, right now in the game. But I want to specifically focus on a very simple concept that he would use in the tournaments to gain easy yardage. Now, for those of you that don't know, I actually just started um, a new thing on the channel called 1000 True Fans. And basically what that is, is it is a uh, really, really deep dive into competitive Madden. What we do is every single week we break down um, offensive, de offensive and defensive meta videos, and we also break down pro player film tape. And so we actually just broke down Drini's entire Madden Classic offense um, in our first breakdown for that. And so if you want to join that membership, um, it's just five bucks a month. You can get that down in the description. I'll leave a link down there below. You get three videos every single week, so 12 videos a month, and for every single month of the year. So if you want to get access to that content, you can join my 1,000 True Fans. It's for the people that are most committed to not only my channel, but also to getting better at Madden in general. So if you want to get access to that, that's in the description. All right, so we're talking today about spacing switch, and we're in the New York Jets playbook. This is one of the most slept on plays in Bunch, and I think it's actually one of the most effective uh, passing concepts just for simply moving the chains, especially if you have a slot apprentice or a hot route master quarterback or something like that, which most of us at this point in the year do have that in Mutt. And what I like to do with this setup is it's really, really good for the double Mabel setup. So typically out of double Mabel is basically something like this right here. If they're playing bunch, a lot of times they'll put this guy in a deep half because of the cover three beaters, and they'll have this little hook curl right over here with their user. And basically all we're going to do is we're going to take the triangle receiver, we're going to put him on a flat route, just like that, and then we're going to take uh, Godwin, and we're going to put him on a hot route master post. Now if you don't have hot route master, what I recommend is taking Godwin and putting him on a slant or a smart routed in route, okay? Any of that stuff will work just fine. And then what we're gonna do here is very simple. We're gonna motion this out route out just a step, just like that. And if they're playing flat zones, the flat will jet out there. And as you can see, we're gonna have this easy read to the tight end. This is really, really good for double Mabel because again, typically this is what a double Mabel defense will kind of look like. Now I wanna talk a little bit about the left side of the field. If you look on this left side of the field, you're gonna see that this little route to the square receiver actually does a really good job, especially if they're playing their Mabel with, as a 520 or a 25, five and five. So it looks something like this, where these guys are purple zone defenders. And what you're gonna notice is this little flat route that, um, that Fournette is on, once he cuts to the sideline, you'll see that little animation right there. That is your cue to throw this ball to the running back. It's actually a really, really simple little read, but I wanna show this in instant replay, kind of show you what's going on. This is one of the plays that I think makes Bunch such a headache to defend. So if this guy right here is in the underneath um, curl flat zone. And what you're going to see at the snap of the ball is he's going to drift back. Now, we have this yellow zone right here. This is to prevent any snap throws. And I'll come back to that in just a moment. But um, this is to prevent that. But as you watch this play unfold, you're going to see this little hitch. Actually, there's a relationship. And he actually takes this route away which allows this window right here to be able to throw this ball and get upfield for an easy five to seven to maybe even more than that uh, yardage. Now, one other thing I do want to talk about and just touch on is, again, if you don't have Hot Route Master, uh, what you can do. So if you take this running back and you just leave him on this little swing route, the stock swing route right here, I just want you to kind of watch. You'll see that you still get this animation, but you actually get a little bit better of an ability to rat catch the ball upfield in the event that they do something like that. So again, no matter what, that route's gonna get, um, or that, that little curl is going to do a good job of holding it. Now, I wanna show you a couple of different types of purples. If they put them in a curl flat zone, um, these are five yards, and I just want you to watch. That curl flat will come out, as you can see right here. Curl flats, as a general rule, 
will defend flat routes a little bit better. Seam flats will defend uh, the hook curls. A lot of people, though, they like to put seam flats out there. This is just my experience. You'll see a lot of seam flats, especially in competitive Madden. This is a simple little way that you can really, really work um, against that seam flat. It's such an easy read, but it's such an effective one. Now, um, another concept that a lot of people will do against bunch is they'll still do the double flatting, right? But what they'll do is they'll do this right here. They'll put a vert hook on the right, and they're basically gonna use her here, but when they see that post, they're gonna go to the post. And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna leave this natural little window right here to snap, throw this route, and then just do an instant truck animation just like that. If you see that little zone drop off, that route is gonna be a headache for your opponent to defend. And this is honestly, I'm telling you right now, this is what makes Bunch so, so hard to stop. Because when they think they got you, these little baby dots are so powerful. Just right there, quick, easy throw and truck up field, very simple to get a couple of yards. Now, I wanna talk about another route on this play, and that is the route to the, um, the route to R1, which is this post route. And if you watch how this route kind of works, it's kind of a later read, but you'll see that the middle of the field is now gonna get stretched and very opens up a lot of space to be able to throw this ball. So again, we're just gonna run like a standard Mabel coverage just like this. We're gonna throw the yellow zone on the bunch side. And um, it really doesn't matter where the yellow zone is. The post route will get over the yellow zone. And what you'll see is that pocket right there as a very easy opportunity for you to be able to make a read against the defense. So what's really cool about this is this gives them something to user. They have to, they have to go with the post route. And so what's going to happen is if they go to the post route, then it's just going to be a matter of you as the user uh, or as the offense, basically just reading and reacting. So again, you're going to see this little motion out route right here, really space the field and then you just take this little hitch on the left side. Basically what you're gonna force them to have to do as a defense is you're gonna force them to have to do something like this right here, where they use two yellow zones, maybe even a quarterback spy, and they use hard flats. Why this is significant and important is because this is gonna open up everything else for your offense. Now you still have your post if they do that adjustment that I was telling you about. But if they use her that, obviously that will take this play, for the most part, away. But one other thing I want to talk about. So if they, if you see that if they do something like this, um, this is what they would do if they were going to do a defense like that, especially out of Mike Blitz 3. And remember, we talked about those seam flats. Um, and so something you could do, it looks exactly identical, but just basically leave the running back on the table route. And what you're going to see is now this underneath hitch will sit in a very nice little area, little pocket for you to be able to pop it and easily just take the underneath. So the cool part about this is this really forces the user to have to put a, it just puts a lot of stress on the user. The user has to defend something. Now, one last thing I wanna hit on on the seam flat situation. If they do that zone, remember that, that there's a relationship right there. And as you can see, we're able to pop this. The reason why I wanna talk about this is this is super, super important. So. Most people, if they run a blitz out of Mike Blitz 3, this is the coverage show you're going to see. You're going to see something that looks basically just like this right here. This concept absolutely torches that. Um, obviously, remember, we have hard flats on both sides. If the user goes to the right or if he goes down and snaps the ball, this read right here is so simple but so effective. You can easily just take your little table route to your running back. But one other thing a little bit further and a little bit deeper that I want to showcase is what this can do against the seam flat. Again, we talked about the relationship. So they come out ex expecting that hard that they're hard flatting from a seam flat situation, and you'll see that that will literally, you see how it just takes that little step inside, and it's an easy little read for you to be able to hit it. This spacing switch play is essential if you're gonna be running gun bunch. It's why Drini runs it, it's why Henry runs it, it's why everybody that has a good gun bunch will run this play. I think it's actually a little bit more essential than people realize. It really puts a lot of stress on the defense, especially when they start over pursuing to stop things like flood concepts and things like that. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to learn the exact offense that Drini used to win the Madden Classic. I have broken it completely down in detail, about an hour breakdown, 
in our 1,000 True Fan membership. We're only taking 1,000 people into that membership, and so make sure to sign up. Again, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video. It's just $5. For just $5 a month, you will get a one-hour breakdown on offense, one-hour breakdown on defense, and a, or um, I'm sorry, you're gonna get a meta update on offense, meta update on defense, and then you're gonna get a pro player um, in-depth analysis. And so this, the first one we broke down was Dreamy. So if you want to get access to all of that material, it's just $5. And again, it's in the description of this video. You can get it down below. I'm going to leave a link down there for you. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900.